am very excited about this one. I feel like I always say I'm excited, but this week especially, because I'm getting ready right now to go surprise Greta for her birthday. I'm actually so stressed. I get so stressed about surprise parties because I just want the person to love it and you can't ask for their opinion, obviously. But Greta and I had plans to go to a flower field today to like get pictures for her birthday and I had to cancel on the birthday girl because her surprise party is today. So I was like, Josh has this appointment at the doctor's. I have to go with him. It's at noon. I don't know how long it's gonna be. I'm so sorry. Maybe we can do something when you get home from your trip and like I won't see you around your birthday. And I felt so bad. She was so nice, obviously, but she was like, oh, I'm really sad I wanted to go, but like totally makes sense. We'll plan something. So anyway, I feel like that's made me stressed because I'm like, well, I hope she loves her surprise party, which obviously she will and Isaac is planning it and everything. But I'm wearing my new little free people dress and Rachel came over to get ready with me. We're having a little bit of lunch now. I'm getting everything together and then we're taking it to Orlando. Also, if you think the quality looks good today, I'm trying out a new camera from Sony. I love my Canon G7X, but the autofocus on it is so bad so i'm trying out a new smaller camera this is actually the same one that greta has i scooped up rachel oh is she still asleep? or did we scoop up yeah nah. you actually scooped up me because i'm in the back seat and the boys are we are we're little girls in the back seat right now on our way to our friend's house yeah to our friend's birthday party if you will and honestly the ride hasn't been that bad i can't speak because i'm not driving but as a passenger passenger princesses this is like next level passenger princess because you're just you put the wall up and you're just laughing like little girls. Yeah, we've been having fun back here. Isla is being the best passenger princess ever. She's a sleepy little nugget. Her holding that toy is everything. Boys, how are we feeling up there? Sorry, let me put the screen down. Oh, the limo screen? Uh, we're doing good up here. Okay. Well, let's park and unload the stuff and then repark. Going and work. Uh, yeah. Trying to make this little sign cute. This sign has been at like every birthday party. If you get this sign, you know you're loved. That's adorable. Yeah. So cute. So cute. I'm kind of not feeling the I didn't realize the power they you have. You are so close. What's up, brother? Special teams, special players? I don't know. <laughs> oh, she doesn't know. Oh, wow, that's how the sports go. Thank you. I was homeschooled. Yeah, it's very That is pick me up. I was homeschooled. She's not like that girl. Boy Scouts? Comment below. What's up, brothers? What's up, brothers? Special teams, special players. We stopped at Publix because Greta just hit 100K on YouTube. So not only is it her birthday celebration, but now we're getting her 100 balloons. Like, not 100 balloons, but the number 100. And they didn't have a K, and they didn't have all the same colors, so. So she's turning 100 today? She's turning 100, and we're getting her 26K balloons. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. This is how it ends. Yeah. I got the sweat. She got the sweatshirt. Let's go. I got the sweat. That's the start of it. Mine's coming. Good morning. I am back from Orlando. So we came back la last late. I can't speak. We came back late last night and I wanted to kick off today with having a little beach day. I haven't been to the beach in a while and I especially haven't been to the beach by myself in a while. And the weather has been so nice. So I got my work done early and I do have to film a couple of things for TJ Swim, which is the swimsuit I'm wearing. It's so cute and comfortable. So I'm headed off to the beach and I'm excited to bring you guys with me for like some solo beach time. Honestly, haven't had such a pretty beach day in so long. The water feels very crispy cool, like it's not warm, but it's so beautiful. It has not been this like clear and blue in a long time and I'm loving it. Even like having some alone time, honestly, I was listening to Ceilings by Lizzie McAlphin like up on the beach and almost started crying because I don't know, that song A just gets me and sometimes having alone time is so necessary. And I definitely forget that because I love being with people, but I'm like, I'm at my happy place. I'm with the best weather ever in this water. Like, it's a very good self-reflection. Oh my goodness, so many seashells too. Wait, that one has a little animal in it. Oh, nope, just seashells. I'm back home now. I ended up only staying at the beach for a little bit because I have a meeting later today and I was so hungry for lunch so I did need to come back but I might sit by the pool for a little bit because the sun felt amazing and I'm almost finished with my book so I do want to finish that because it's like getting good right at the end. I've been reading the what is it called? the Throne of Glass series. That was what everybody recommended for after reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't know if I would recommend it. Honestly, I'm on the third book and it's just starting to get where I'm like, ooh, I'm interested, I'm involved. But the fact that I had to read two books to get there that were mediocre in my opinion, like I think it's all setting up to be a really good story, but I don't know, it's just not as like captivating as the other ones. So I do wanna finish this one though because now I'm involved and then I need to get the, th the I can't speak. And then I need to get the fourth book. But I think Josh made us lunch, which I'm so happy about. It's like we've been on our eating healthy and cooking at home. And it is so nice. Honestly, I've been worse about it. I'm like, should I just go pick up a pub sub for us? And he was like, no, I'll make lunch. So that was very sweet of him. You put in the work. Mm -hmm. But we still got a pile because rice and chicken. This is one of our favorites is to just do like a little oven mixture of some veggies and then rice and chicken and maybe a good little sauce. I'm quickly getting ready now because, wait, pause. Stuff smells so good. I just switched over to the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. This was a recommendation from my friend Lauren. It is elite to any other setting spray that I've used and it smells really good. So I'm loving that but I'm quickly getting ready because I have that meeting that I have to go to. Um, I don't get to do a lot of in-person meetings. I feel like because living in Florida, a lot of companies and brands that I work with are in like New York or LA. This company is Polite Society, so I've used this like warm medium foundation from them for a little bit now. It works so well. That's what I'm wearing today, and I feel like my skin just looks like glass, so I'm excited to get to like meet with our team, see about any partnerships for the upcoming year but I have pool beach hair. So I'm like, what do I do with this rat's nest? And I don't really wanna slick it, but maybe I could do like a slick fluffy bun. It's always the times that you have like somewhere to be that your hair will just never do the right thing. Okay, a slick fluffy bun though could be quite fun if it wants to work out. I need to get my day styling cream up in here. I've been such a press-on nail girl. I've been loving the press-ons. These have been 10 days that I've had them on, and I'm pretty sure they're like $8, which is crazy. But the only annoying thing is that they get stuck in your hair, and I'm like, ugh, I don't know. But 
I do love the press-ons. I love not sitting in a nail salon chair for hours. Honestly, doing the Delaney Child's bun has opened me back up to doing bobby pins because I feel like I never use them anymore. I was just like, oh, they're so extra to put in your hair. But when I do the Delaney Child's bun, like the little messy bun with the front strands, I literally use so many bobby pins and it looks so good. So now I've been a little bit more on a bobby pin kick. And it's honestly nice. You don't have to do so many attempts to get your hair to do the right thing. You can kind of just force it to. I never usually do this. I can't tell if this is cute or just bad. I'm not loving it. I don't know. Ow. Back to the drawing board. Maybe I need fluffy hair. You know what I can use? I feel like this is a perfect use for the day wave spray that smells so good too and honestly i could do a fun little half bun <sighs> okay i have to turn this off i'm like gonna rage i'm back from my meeting and i did a quick little change because i actually want to go back to the beach for sunset I'm wearing the cutest little butter yellow set from TJ Swim and then this little overshirt, which is absolutely perfect for like having a little cover up. So I'm gonna throw some, sh some I'm gonna throw some shorts on and get going back to the beach twice in one day. That is fun. Absolutely the piece that I needed. It was just to swim in the ocean for sure. It feels heavenly. back home now and I heard Josh is in the gym working out in the gym I'm already calling our garage a gym I heard that Josh is in the garage working out so I'm gonna go meet him down there and even if it's just to get a little workout in I think that will feel really good do you stretch no what you don't stretch at all does a lion stretch before it chases a gazelle you are not putting that in the vlog so you're calling yourself a lion I mean, you said it. I just needed a 15 minute pump. I feel like I usually start with some sort of cardio. So maybe I'll do jumping jacks. Here, I'm gonna play you my, my favorite song right now. Number one, makes extremely happy. Crossword this. on the sports this. TV. Crossword on a Tuesday. <laughs> I'm so tired. That just took us so long. I only got miserable after about 10 minutes. I what? After 10 minutes. You're like miserable after 10 minutes. No, I enjoyed it for 30. It was the last 15 where I was like, Wait, I'm tired. How long did it take us? 43. 43 minutes. Hold on, let me pull it up. I'm like ready to hop in bed.